Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Driving with Steven. Today, I'm going to be talking about kind of the four different ways that we can uh, bring income into our life, and then we're going to discuss each one. So, now I do want to, you know, forego that and say, are there more than four? Absolutely. So nobody be comment mean about that. But I'm talking about the normal, ethical, legal ways that we can bring money into our life. Okay. So number one, we could be an employee. Second one option is we could be self-employed. Uh, the third option is we could be a business owner. And the fourth is we could be an investor. Those are kind of the different major groupings, okay? And when you look at society, there, there's kind of an interesting thing that happens. About 95% of us um, tend to land in the uh, employee slash self-employed kind of half of, of the project while only 5% are business owners and investors. And if you don't believe me, look around and, and figure out, you know, do you have a W-2 attached to your name? Do you work for, you know, do you trade your time for money? If that's your situation, you're most likely an employee or self-employed. Um, you know, if you don't go out and do work and you don't get paid as a result, your income drops, you're employed. Uh, that's basically how that plays out. Um, but on that 5% that are business owners and investors, they tend to have, like a business owner owns a system, and the system will have other employees attached to it who go out and, and make the money and bring them money in. So if they happen to be gone for a day, their business still is open and, and doing things and generating income. And an investor kind of takes it a step further, and instead of having employees, they have their money go out and make more money. And so their money is put to work instead of a person. Um, and that's kind of the, the basics there. But what I thought was so interesting that a lot of people don't realize is 95% of the, the population as a whole tends to fall on that employee, self-employed side of the, uh, of the system, and while only 5% are business owners and investors. Why is this important? Because I find it also intriguing that 5% of all the money available to people is on the self-employed employee side and 95% is available to business owners and investors. So when we go to work as employees, we're really scrounging around for the scraps uh, when you look at the overall economy. While a business owner or an investor gets to really rake in bigger dollar figures, um, and, and I'm not trying to justify what's fair and what's not, it's just a reality of the systems that we play in. So one of the things that I wanted to bring up is, you know, how do we transfer ourselves from being an employee or self-employed person where if I don't trade my time for dollars, I lose and don't have a paycheck to bring home to my family to being a business owner and an investor and owning systems or investments that bring in money whether you go to work or not. And, and so there's ways to make that transition. And here's what I typically find happens. When we, when we lack that financial know-how to be a business owner or an investor, what tends to happen is we work as an employee and maybe the company that we're working for, we finally decide, you know what, I can do this better than my boss. Um, you know, I know more than they do. I can do the same job cheaper and make more money, right? That's kind of the, the role that we tend to put ourselves through. And we go out and we make that, that almighty dollar transitioning ourselves from an employee to self-employed. And then eventually, if we're successful at that, we now have to hire employees to, to take on our responsibilities. We, we need to kind of multiply ourselves around to take care of the customer base that you've generated. And that sort of transitions you into the business owner side because now you have to create a system in your business that tells your employees what to do, when to get there, how to take care of paperwork, so that that system will generate the income and then you can bring that in. And then eventually, if you're successful at that, then you can take on the, the investor side of the quadrant where you now have enough money coming in as a business owner to send that money out to invest in other things. It could be real estate, it could be stocks, it could be you know commodity, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Um, you then have the ability to do that on a, a sturdier foundation. So that's generally the, the path that we need to take. Now, the point of this video is to say, is it possible to speed that up? If I'm an employee, now how do I get to an investor point as quickly as possible? And the truth is, is it's not that hard to do. 
me put it more this way. It's simple to do. It's not necessarily easy. That really all depends on you. And it really boils down to taking the time and the effort to learn what it takes. You know, for myself, I was a heating and air conditioning professional uh, employed, right? And I worked my way up and I did what I could and, and worked every day um, to the point that I was helping to run businesses that I worked for and knew that the only step higher than that was to either take over that business um, or go start one myself. And that's a, a scary process. We need to learn how to do that. Um, so I got educated, took that, that leap and, and started being self-employed and, and working my way to that point. Um, but the point is, is it's, it boils down to education. You don't know what you don't know, so you need to go out and find it. So I, I've got these great systems in place. My team and I are our real estate investing company. Um, and we help show other people how to move from employee to entrepreneur, you know, self-employed entrepreneur, and ultimately to business owner investor in, in a very rapid manner if you're able to take it on. Now, this is not get rich quick. I'm not saying that you know overnight you're going to make tens of thousands of dollars. But I can show you the pathway that leads to that. And, and it's it's exponential, right? We, we learn a little bit, but the further we go, we start to get better and better and better and better. Pretty soon, all of a sudden, it's like, where has this money been all these years? So we want to be able to show you how to do that. So if you're interested and you'd like to know what it takes to get out of your job, to be an entrepreneur, and to become a business owner, and, and really get to play around in the world of the 95% of the finances available to your fingertips, as opposed to fighting and scrounging with everyone else for the 5%, uh, definitely give my office a call, 520-230-2319, uh, or you can always email us at info at quinrig.com. Thanks. Hope to hear from you soon.